kind of business? Uh, it's like an online business. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my father is into that. <laughs> well, that, well that, that, that does encompass many things, right? Like online uh, business could be pornography, it could be selling Hello, oh, Hello Kitty dolls, <laughs> could be almost anything. It could be selling murder for hire. Like there's a lot of things you can do on the internet. So definitely not murder for hire. Hi, how you going? You good? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very good actually. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, what's the plan? Um, I'm going to a company right now. To a company? Yeah, I don't know. Actually, that's kind of film. So, but I'm not really sure. You're not really this sure? My first time, yeah. You're not really sure what you're doing. What do you mean your first time here? My uh, first time there. It sounds, it sounds like a conspiracy, you're like, I'm going to a, a company. Oh, which company? Exactly, <laughs> which company? Yeah. For what reason? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is there, do you know why you're going there or did someone just like yeah. put a note under your door? No. <laughs> uh, a job interview or something? Yeah. Okay. Can I walk with you for a minute? Sure, if you want so. Well, I... Do you have maybe a lighter? Yeah, mm, no, I don't actually, but they do. Let's ask them. Excuse me. Can I have your lighter for one second? Oh, yeah. I had a COVID test. Oh. I'm very safe. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So what do you do here, actually? Um, it's a long story. Uh, I do live here, sort of. I live here in Portugal and other places, but right now, because the country's locked, I'm here. <laughs> and I have uh, like an online business and I actually have an olive farm in Portugal. <laughs> what kind of business? Uh, it's uh, like an online business. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my father is into that. <laughs> well, that, well that, that, that does encompass many things, right? Like online uh, business could be pornography, it could be selling Hello, oh, Hello Kitty dolls, <laughs> could be almost anything. It could be selling murder for hire. Like there's a lot of things you can do on the internet. So. Definitely not murder for hire. <laughs> Definitely not sex trafficking. Oh, Definitely of course not. not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would never. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Not oh. very profitable. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a li like a life coach. Oh, that's great. What kind of? Just a general? No, specifically for <clears throat> like high profile men who are very successful in, in business but really shit with people. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, Especially oh. with shitty people, right? <laughs> uh, shit with shit with shitty people. Well, I don't know. I have I kind of have an attitude that um, I don't think humans are inherently good, but they have like they have the capacity for all things, and I, I tend to think that people reflect back what you put out. Something or not always. They are malicious people, but. Um, I, ca I try to treat the world like it's my living room and then people tend to treat me very well. Oh, that's great, yeah. So in here, what do you do? I'm, I'm on a break. I'm chilling for the moment. Oh. I've got a lot of friends here. that we well, like. There's a bunch of us Australians and expats that we kind of have a crew here and right now yeah. we're just sort of I don't know. Just killing time and working Wait, on some new projects. You mean you? <laughs> we, my multiple, my multiple <laughs> personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like Fight Club, where I talk to myself. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I watched it again for the first time in 20 years, because I, I watched it back in 1998 <laughs> or whatever when it came out. And then I just watched it the other night. It still stands up. It's still good. Yeah, so and now where do you go exactly? You mean right now? Yeah, just, uh, well, I was you just saw time and... <laughs> yeah, I saw you look interesting. I mean, I was going home. I, I live down like near to... Um, so now I'm just walking with you for a minute. Where, whereabouts are you gonna go? Oh, it's pretty close now. I have to go uh, to the right. Yeah. In the, next In the next seconds, you'll explode to the right. Yeah. 
Are you prepared? Are you ready? Do you have your game face? What if they say, where do you see yourself in five years? I mean, it's an interview of some sort. Oh, not exactly. It's for uh, statistics and films. What, sorry, what do you mean? The movies. Hang on, just stop for a second. Because oh. I, I, I don't want to keep running. Oh. Uh, what do you mean, uh, statistics to what? Uh, in movies. You know, extras and... Oh, some, yes, I understand. Yeah. Right, right. So that kind of thing. Uh, that just, um, I don't know. Casting call or something yeah, like this. You gotta I go. I actually have to be there. Okay, cool. Do you want to hang out sometime? Two minutes before. <laughs> Do you want to hang out sometime? Oh, uh, sure. Just get, get you in. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn. Evelyn, I'm James. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. All right, WhatsApp? Is that a thing? You use that? Yeah. All right, you put it in quick. Hurry up, Evelyn, you're late. Oh, Plus three, six. Yeah. Oops. Okay. You sure? All right, I'm James, remember me. Good yeah. luck, see ya. Thanks. So the thing to notice with that interaction was I didn't open her. I didn't go over and say, hey, I saw you, I pre-framed and I do an open or whatever like I might do on some other times. I just started uh, talking. I, I think I just said, hey, what's what's going on? How are you? And she's like, fine. And, just, and then I said, what's the plan? It was, it was like we already knew each other. Hi, how you going? You good? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm very good actually. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. What's the plan? And as a result, we just, because my frame was so like, this is normal to do, this is chill, and she was a chill girl, she was like a you know, cool girl, uh, we just rolled into a conversation. And you notice that I'd, we never exchanged names until actually I'd already asked her out. Do you want to hang out sometime? Oh, uh, sure. Just get, get you in, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn. Evelyn, I'm James. Uh, because it just felt so seamless and natural and we are actually I was you can probably see on the camera that we were, there was a little bit of touch there we were bumping into each other so there was like nice attraction straight away because it felt so easy and she was pretty confident and chill and she was just like all right this dude's confident and chilled so it, it rolled on pretty naturally so that's all keep it in mind hi how are you Good, thank you. Yeah, excellent. You're so adorable. You have such a nice groove. You must be listening to something funky. Uh, kind of. Pretty boy Floyd. Okay. What of what? I don't know that. What is, of what genre is that? Kind of rock, modern, I guess. Okay. What the hell is this one? Um, you just coming from university or something? Uh -huh. I'm going to my dorm and get some stuff done, yeah. Does that mean you're from another city and you lived here? Oh, you're from another country, yeah. Oh, you're from another country. Yeah. All right. Well, so am I. <laughs> I didn't notice. Oh, really? Uh, well, well, let's have one guess each. Oh, you're good! Australia. You're like Swedish? No. Oh. All right. Well, I fail. Tell me. Ah, oh, of course, that's why you're confident. That's why I fucking love Serbs. Uh, yes, I mean, not all, not all of aspects of Serbia, but uh, I used to spend a lot of time there. Um, yes, you, like, Serb, where, where are you going right now? Can we stop for a minute? Because yeah, sure. we can talk for a second. Name? Borislava. Borislava. What's up? I'm James. Um... Yeah, I fucking love Belgrade. I, I spent a lot of time there. It's so nuts because it's that beautiful mix of like, Serbs are kind of, well, I'll tell you, but you tell me what you think. Like extremely confident and, and fun loving, like kind of a mixture of Russians and Italians. Yeah, yeah I think that's pretty right? yeah. yeah, cause the Russians are all hard and the Italians are too emotional. Yes, and the Serbs are just this cool blend. Yeah, I guess we are somewhere between the Mediterranean and the Slavs. Yeah, nice. True Slavic. And what are you like though? What are, what are you like as a person? Would you describe yourself as? I don't know. I don't really don't. I guess somewhere between. Yeah, but I just mean in general. Like, are you, I don't know, like what do you like doing? How do you, do you, do you read? Do you party? Do you? Party? I'm, I guess. You don't? I'm artistic soul. Oh, good. I have the two, yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I, I would say me too. 
drawing, painting, photography, music and stuff. Excellent. What do you like? All those things, yeah. I was a musician for a long time and what did you play? trumpet, flute and I was a singer. Yeah, back in the day I had a band in Australia for quite a long time. And yeah, I, I write, I read, I, I travel a lot to learn from different teachers. So like, for example, I'll go to Argentina to learn tango or to the Amazon jungle to learn shamanism. So listen, I'm much older than you. Yeah, I know. Yes, uh, but I still think you're really attractive. Do you like older men like me? I think I have a boyfriend. Oh, you do? Yeah. Really? Awesome. Okay, good. Well, you've been lovely to talk to, so see you later. When you're in luck, I am 18. I do look like younger. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, can I get your Instagram in case one day sure. we, you know, who knows what's going to happen? Oh, 18's fine. Maybe you add me because mine's private. Sure. That's right. So, are you the first one? That's me. Let me just add you. Cool, and I'll add you. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, hope to see you again one day. Bye. Excuse me. Hi. How are you doing? I nearly got run over because of you. Wow. Yeah, walk with me for a minute. Um, yes, I just saw you and I thought you looked so sexy today and then I, I someone nearly hit me. So yeah. Ta-da, what's your name? Tunda. Tunda? I'm James. And uh, what's what's the plan? What are you doing today? Um. <laughs> are you in your own dream world? Yeah. Is that is that because you've been partying, or you're just like a, someone in your own space? Yeah. Which one? Oh, do you not understand me? Only a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to follow you anyway. I'm just just walking to the end of the street. Okay. Is that cool? All right, nice. What are you listening to? Um, Rihanna. Rihanna? <laughs> New Rihanna or old Rihanna? Oh, oh the classics. Lovely. Um, and are you a shy person? No. No. Okay, good. Oh, I see. I see in your eyes. You're a little bit cheeky. Well, I'm from Australia. And currently I live here because of the lockdown and I have lots of free time and so I'm just enjoying myself. Do you like older men? Yes, I can see you do. Good. Uh, would you like to hang out sometime? Because I have to go now. Um, I know I'm a complete stranger, but we could get a cup of tea <laughs> in public and then see if we like each other. What do you think? Swap Instagrams and see what happens? Okay. Tunda. <laughs> Relax. Because we don't, this is a common name, right? In Hungary. Yeah. Okay, add me later, okay? Okay. All right, see you. Da, da, da. Hi, how are you? Uh, sorry, I'm talking with my mom. Ah, oh, say hi, mom. How are you? Can you call her back? No, I can't. All right. Uh, Bye. Just tell her, tell her the truth. Da, mum blocked. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm just going to talk to you while you walk down the stairs. It's getting more awkward for me. Now I'm just a man talking to empty stairs. That's the kind of thing I do. And this is how you can imagine me like in six years from now. I owe uh, you going out there. Oh, uh, I know that's why. The government did it. It's all a conspiracy. Hello? Are you okay? Are you? Oh. It's all right. Don't worry, it'll be over in 10 years. Excuse me. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, do you mind if I sit with you for a second? No, of course. Okay, cool. You were just frowning, so I wasn't sure if you were having a, a bad day or not. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm waiting for my friends. Okay, so. nice, okay. nice. 
Uh, and what's your name? Nora. Say it again without the look. Nora. That's better. You're like, Nora. Well, I am James. I'm just a nice yeah. Australian stranger. Oh. Are you a tourist? No, I live here. Oh. It's, you can't really be a tourist right now. It's, you're not allowed to come in. Yeah. yeah. Although I have, I have friends from America who came in through Serbia, then so they flew into Belgrade, then went to Vienna, then caught the train from Budapest and then bribed the border guards. So it is possible if you really want to come here. Yeah. And what are you? I'm living here. Yeah. I'm studying and working. Sorry, sorry. No, thank you. I have already. Uh, but you're not from here. No, I'm coming from the countryside. From And you feel, do you feel like you're more of a country person or a city person? Both mix. Yeah, me too. I, I prefer the calm sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, my life is pretty crazy. I travel a lot and always in big cities, but last uh, year I bought a farm in Portugal. And so now I spend a lot of time out there gardening and growing olives. And, and I have peacocks. You know what peacocks are? I have an online business, so I can work wherever I want. And why Budapest? Uh, originally, like I came here eight years ago, my grandmother was Hungarian, I wanted to check it out. Oh. Um, I like it, it's just central, it's you know, like it's not too big, not too small. Like to be it's honest, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, the Hungarians are a little bit, not in general, a bit closed, grumpy people I find. Um, no offense, it's not, you know, I understand why. Yeah. Um, but. But they're also, once you get below the surface, they're pretty honest and funny and so like, yeah, I, I like, I like it here. Uh, I, I don't want to stay here all the time, but I like being here. Mm -hmm. And we Some just, uh, we like knowing people and just going around in the back and sitting everywhere. Not everywhere. Um, I used to be really shy, actually, believe it or not. And some time ago, yeah, <laughs> you're like, no, you didn't. I did. And uh, yeah, I just decided that like shyness is a disease and it stops you from connecting to people. And now I have the attitude that the world is my garden. And so I like to just, if I feel like it, sometimes I'm really in my own space. Mm -hmm. But if I feel like it, I see someone I want to talk to, then I will. Mm -hmm. Do you Good do that? Idea. You ever do I that? I never did yeah. before. So, uh, because you're worried they might be mean to you? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes they are mean, but it's worth it because sometimes they're not. Yeah. Now, actually, usually when you when you come in with like a nice energy, it's hard for people to reject it. I've seen that. Yeah. Because it's like the people become a mirror to you. I mean, not always. Sometimes they tell you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. 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 You have a really cool style, actually. It's like minimal, but it's like it's yeah, yeah. a bit New York <laughs> minimal. Yeah, is that? I, it feels I like. I like your shoes. <laughs> yeah, I just got them, and they're already dirty. You can never keep white shoes clean, can you? They're just like one day, and it's already there. Yeah. Um, and what are you doing? Like, how do you spend your time? You said you're studying, when working. I, uh, you must yeah, be quite yeah. busy. When I have time, for example. Yeah. Reading. Oh, good. All the time. So reading. Going everywhere, just walking, uh, running. Oh, so like you're this. a wholesome. Do you know this word, wholesome? It means like uh, healthy. It means like healthy in mind and body in some yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Not necessarily all about sport, but like. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I'm not a fanatic one. I'm just doing because I enjoy it. Yeah. Not because I, I want to lose weight or I just I yeah. just enjoy it and that's yeah. the point. That means you will always do it, actually. I think when people do something because they force themselves, they always give up. But when they actually enjoy it, then it becomes mm. part of their personality. Yeah, but uh, my story that I lost a lot of weight. Uh -huh. So, years ago, you never you never imagined how, how I was before. So, I, yeah, I transformed. I have a transformation. So. Oh, wow. That must be interesting. Because uh, yeah. I, I always have been exactly <laughs> the same size my entire yeah. life. No matter what I do, I mean, yeah. I do exercise, but like if I yeah, so eat or not. This is my story, and I'm, I worked really hard for this. Yeah. But now I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Before you were unhealthy because you were unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And habits or 
guy. I was happy. I was just um, totally on different thinking, you know. Um, mm. I was totally unhappy. I mean, like before that. Totally and unhappy. I'm, yeah. Not happy. Yeah. Yes, yes, understand. So, but sorry, I have to roll these messages because I'm waiting uh, for these friends. Okay, sure. So um, well, I'll, I'll let you go. Would you like to go for a tea sometime? You seem very lovely. I know I'm a stranger, but you can tell <laughs> you can tell I'm not dangerous, right? Do you have some Instagram, Facebook connection? Yes, I have everything. What's the best way to talk to you? Maybe Instagram. Really? I mean, I will, but like, you will reply, or are you just going to look at my photos? No, I have <laughs> Okay, all right. All right. You'll you'll see my life is quite weird when you look at my Instagram. So yeah. It is very weird. Uh, add add me because I'm on private. Sorry, so, your name again was? Nori. Nori. Did we say names? I can't remember. No. Oh, I'm James. Nori, James. Okay, nice. So, no. uh, I'll add you. Yeah. Do you live in town? No, not exactly in the, in the central. Mm -hmm. I'm like in, near the bridge. Yeah, it's very nice too. Okay, how did you? Are you private or not? No. Oh, you're you're an open book. I have oh. to be. I have to be no, a little no, bit no. private. No, I think the private life is a happy life, so I'm just careful about this. You will see. What do you but mean? I, I like it because I like to create. I like uh, taking good pictures. Oh so. yes, I see. <laughs> yeah, it's very nicely put together. And I like to travel. <laughs> Me too. All right, well, see, I, I dare you to try and figure out who the hell I am from that. You'll be very confused because okay. there's lots of different messages. Cool. All right, Nori, really nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> I'll explain everything over coffee. Okay. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, so that was two hours in field. We probably gave you most of the interactions. Today I was fucking on fire, let's be honest. Uh, and I've be, I've been hitting some kinds of new levels lately. I'm not exactly sure why, but I think the main takeaway from this video should be, like, whatever I said in those interactions, some of them were smart and fun things and, and some cool stuff that I said, but for the most part, the reason why I was just going from success to success or even I didn't get blown out a single time here maybe that last one who didn't look at me there were girls who like didn't want to talk or had to go or on the phone to their mum or something but there was never I never got a sense of like oh like any of those like harsh like blowouts with the girl telling you to go away or or just defl or like wincing and, and cringing it's because my energy today and, and in general at the moment is really giving right it's really inclusive hello madam hi how are you oh you're so cute yeah she smiled, hey, even the doggy likes me, yay. Uh, yeah, I'm really coming from this space of, uh, I'm, there's no separation between me and the outside world. Of course there is, but the, it's minimized, right? These, these armors that we put up between ourselves, this sense of uh, difference from everyone else, from your environment, this being inside this fucking skull, thinking and overthinking, uh, is, is never going to be conducive to connecting to people. What is conducive is, holding space, looking them in their eyes, seeing them as, as a human, emptying yourself, and allowing your ego to get buffeted around and slapped around and, and have fun with it. And as I said to that girl earlier, to, that to treat the world like it's your garden or it's your, um, it's your lounge room, because then the world starts to reflect that back to you. And girls want to spend time with a guy that feels at ease with himself. They don't want to spend time with a guy that spits mad game, that says all the, the best things or has all the most ornate or complicated strategies. That's not what seduces a woman. What seduces her is that she feels good in your presence. That's, if we have to boil it down to anything, not just pleasant, not just nice, but she feels a flush of good feeling. She feels comfortable with you. She feels uh, that you know her in some way, that you see her, that you're not a threat, but you're also not some pushover. Right? These are the nuances, these are the subtleties that you learn over time as you really start to investigate natural seduction. It's not, hey, I saw you from over there, I wanted to come over here and say that you're beautiful. It's just a thing that sometimes comes out and makes logical sense, but it's the delivery, it's the person that's 
that's projecting that. Uh, it's the way you're responding and reading her signals that actually makes it work. If you want to learn this, come and join me in this city, Budapest, in a few weeks time. I'm doing one more workshop. I've only done one this year because fucking, you know why. <laughs> and I'm in the middle of it now. When this video comes out, it'll be over, but it's been awesome. The streets are alive. People are just going around living their lives and the girls are horny actually, because there's no tourists here trying to pick them up. So we're doing one more workshop. I can't remember the dates, it's soon. This is, that's all I'll be doing for the year. And then I'm going off on some adventures because even though the world thinks that it's locked down, there are ways to move around in cracks and I'm not gonna stop being James Marshall just because the world stopped being the world. I'm gonna keep adventuring. But for soon, I'll be here teaching a select group, small group of men for seven full days around the bloody clock. Well, not really, eight hours a day. In, in a game, lots of infield, role-playing classes, learning how to touch, how to flirt, how to get this vibe, how to project intent, how to build a lifestyle, how to be kick-ass in bed, and all the other amazing shit that you don't see on YouTube, you only get when you come to us live. Click the link below for more info. And I'm going to go and start texting girls because I've got a whole bunch of dates to line up. All right, see ya.